This question is a GCSE physics question from unit one. It's from the first part, they work on electric circuits. It's all to do with uh, basically Ohm's law and using the equation V equals IR. So they give us some information at the top and they also give us a diagram here, which is quite useful for puzzling out some of the answers. And they ask us to calculate the voltage across R1, which is this one here. And they want us to go and use an equation from page two. So I'm just gonna nip across and find V equals I times R. And that's current times resistance, so I grab the current from up here, which is 2, and I times that by the resistance, which is 2, and that will give me a voltage of 4 volts. Okay, this one should be nice and quick. And then it asks me here to use my answer from here to calculate the current through these two resistors here. Now, we know that those two will add up to 2 because the current has to be the same everywhere through, but with these two branches, we'll have independent currents adding to that 2 amps. So if we have a quick look, the total voltage across the circuit is 12. And we've just worked out that four of them get used up here by this resistor. That means there must be eight volts across these two resistors here. So if I reuse this equation again, like uh, this time I'll have to rearrange it though. So that's this is what makes this a higher tier question um, in particular. Um, rearrange it to get the current. That's going to be current is equal to voltage divided by resistance. So I'll need to do this twice. And as I mentioned before, we've got 8 volts across these because 4 has been used up over here. So that's going to be 8 divided by 12, which is the resistance from the diagram. And that's going to equal 0.6 recurring. Be really careful to put that recurring in, or you can put in 0.7. That's fine as well. Okay. So then we need to do it again, so for the second resistor here, so it's still 8 volts across because they're in parallel with each other, and this time the resistance is 6. So that's going to give me uh, an answer of 1.3 recurring, or 1.3. Now if you notice, this is what I was talking about before, 0 0.7 plus 1.3 adds up to 2, and that's mm -hmm. the same over here as well. Okay, So that adds up to the same current we had at the beginning up here. Okay, so we're just going to write them down so we're clear what we've got. So that's 0 0.6, don't forget the recurring, and 1.3 with the recurring. Okay, nice quick one for you. Hope you found it useful.